This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams marked the end of the second quarter and is the worst start to a year for the S&P 500 since 1970 and the worst for the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000 index ever. Not to mention Bitcoin is down 74% from its 52-week high. Now I have to wonder how many investors took Matt Damon's advice in his crypto commercial you know, the one where he says the four simple words that have been whispered by the intrepid since the time of the Romans, fortune favors the brave. Man, what could go wrong taking investment advice from an actor with no college degree or any background or experience in finance? No wonder it's imploding. Now, when we factor in the highest inflation in decades and similar losses in bonds, it's clear that we've lost a lot of purchasing power over the last six months. But the good news, if there is any, is that the poor first halves of the year have often been followed by better second halves. But then again, as I've said many times this year, we're dealing with an unprecedented macro situation and historical analogs might not mean much or have much in terms of predictive power. Now, some data suggests that things are slowing down, while other data is showing the economy is surprisingly resilient, even in the face of four decade high inflation. On Wednesday, first quarter GDP was revised downward. May consumer spending data dropped, and the Consumer Personal Consumption Expenditures Index rose three-tenths of 1% below the expected five-tenths of 1%. But on Friday, the June ISM Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index came in at 53. Now, this is getting uncomfortably close to 50, and was actually the lowest reading since 2020. Now, it's important to remember the stock market doesn't have a perfect track record of pricing in economic contractions ahead of time. Stock market doesn't necessarily have to be pricing in a recession. The Federal Reserve, as I've mentioned many times, is just trying to slow down a red hot economy, not kill it. The market could simply be pricing in an era of higher interest rates and inflation and adjusting its valuations. It's also true that markets are moving faster than ever before. The rebound from the lows of the corona crisis in 2020 was breathtaking. This correction has been bone crushing. Both moves were relentless and happened in a hurry. Maybe the stock market is right and we're already in a recession. Maybe the stock market is pricing in a recession that never comes. Or maybe we actually do get a recession. But by the time it's here, the stock market's already bottomed and moved on. As I've learned from other previous market declines, there's no handbook for this kind of thing. There are no all clear signals. Only hindsight has 2020 vision when it comes to the markets. If you are somehow clairvoyant and you sold out of the market at its all time high six months ago, would you be putting that money back to work today? My guess is probably not. Most investors want to wait to see the dust settle before putting their money back to work in volatile markets. But stocks will do what they always do. Look forward. Pricing in expected conditions over the next three to 30 months, not look backwards at what's already known in the past six months. Historically, the market is way up long before the news gets better. That's why investing is so hard. We're all ordinary, normal human beings who project the future based on our most recent experience and explains why investor sentiment readings today are some of the worst I've ever seen. But based on history, when all is said and done, stocks are likely to finish significantly higher than they are now. Capturing that upside after enduring negative periods like this past six months is vital to anyone who needs equity-like returns over the longer run to overcome inflation and achieve their goals and dreams. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.